Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. And tonight we're gonna do something we haven't done in a while. We haven't done one of these videos in quite some time, like a couple months I'd say. We're gonna be doing a catch, clean, and cook. And today we're gonna be doing spotted sea trout. We're gonna do it kind of korma style, korma bake style with some Parmesan cheese and some garlic. And uh, this should be really good. I mean, I've made fish like this before and it's absolutely excellent. But we're gonna, uh, real quick guys, I want you to check out this clip. Amber and I went out the other day. We did some trout fishing with some live croakers. And uh, we got some nice trout. We got a nice 21 incher, which that's the one we're gonna be cooking up tonight. So check out this clip, guys. And then I will see you at the cleaning table and I'll see you all in the kitchen. <music> Good trout. Alright, nice first trout of the day. Oh crap. Okay, let go, baby. There we go. Alright. Nice trout. Now, he's definitely over 20 or 19. New size limit. There's my one over. Beautiful speckled trout. That is a nice one. All right, let's see how big he is. I'm pretty sure he's over 19. Yep, he is 21 and a half. All right, well, there's my one over slot. You're allowed two trout now. Now, two trout between 15 and 19 inches, but one of those per vessel can be over 19 inches. So this is our one over. All right guys, well we got some speckled trout here. It was a real nice big bad boy that I got, 21 incher. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up so we can cook them up tonight. Trout is a very easy fish to clean. Just like blue fish, very easy. So get that bladder down. Let's run it along that backbone. There you go, guys. Beautiful fillet. Beautiful. All right, do the same thing on the other side. Running the problem with that swim swim bladder. Real gummy looking. Feels like bubble gum. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get past. There you go. Alrighty. Clean these up. All right, guys, we've got a nice fillet right here. I mean, look at that, y'all. That is a beautiful speckled trout fillet. And delicious, holy moly. It's one of my top fish, one of them. There you 
go. Got this little rib cage right here. Just come in there, push down, roll right off the edge. There you go, guys. That is a beautiful speckled trout fillet. Got one more. Now, as you can see, it's a fairly easy fish to clean, guys. It is not a hard fish. One of your easier ones, along with the blue fish, Spanish mackerel. Awesome. All right, guys, well, we'll see you in the kitchen. And we're going to cook some of these up. All right, guys, well, I got my trout fillets here. I already got them laying in some korma sauce. We get this at Aldi's. You know, I don't know if other grocery stores carry it. I'm sure they do. Or you can look it online and make it yourself. But this is some really good stuff. It's really, really good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of the korma sauce on the fish fillets itself. There we go. Get on there nice. You really can't mess up speckled trout, to be honest with you. That is one of the best tasting fish in the river. Intercoastal waterway is speckled trout. It is absolutely awesome. Some people say it's a little soft, but I don't find it to be that way. Okay. All right. We got the corma sauce on our fish fillets. So now I'm just going to lay in some pieces of garlic on top here just like that there we go all right now you're gonna put it's a brand new box gonna open this up real quick To open it up. We're gonna put lots of Parmesan cheese on there, guys. Parmesan cheese and fish absolutely go together. So there we go, guys. That's what we got. So now we're gonna cover it up with some tin foil. Now we're gonna put this in a uh, 375 degree oven. For about 25 25 minutes that should do it all right well our fish is out of the oven oh boy look at that man i wish y'all could smell this that smells absolutely insanely good look at that guys Man, that looks good. All right, I have some rice here. I'll go ahead and get me a piece right here. There we go. Awesome. Give me some sauce. Put on my rice. There we go. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go get on the couch. All right, y'all. Well, I am on the couch. And there we go, guys. There's my baked spotted sea trout, speckled trout, sea trout, trout, whatever you want to call it, weak fish, spotted weak fish. has a bunch of names. So this is what we got here. So I'm going to go ahead and how flaky and white that is. Whoo, man. Holy crap. Holy crap. Look at that, guys. Wow. That is stupid. Stupid good. Try the rice with the sauce.
I'm going to take another bite, sorry. Man, that's phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal. Whew, that's hot. Well, guys, this was awesome. This was really, really good. It's the first time I've done trout in the korma sauce. I've done black drum. I've done redfish. But that right there is incredible. That's awesome. That's like one of my top dishes right now i'm gonna be making that a lot more often that is phenomenal just like that now we get our korma sauce at aldi's i don't know if other uh, stores carry it i've never really looked but if you don't have an aldi's in your area look up online see if you can find a korma sauce it's, uh, i'll put the link in the description of this video and how to spell it that's k-a-r-m-a i think it is korma and uh Matter of fact, hold on one second. All right, well, I went and got the bottle, the jar. There you go, guys. It's K-O-R-M-A, Korma Sauce. It is very, very, very good. Very good. I've even done chicken in it, like pour, in, pour a couple bottles in a big pot and I let it simmer for a little bit. And I chunk, chunk up some chicken, throw it in there, and then eat it over rice. Awesome. Absolutely incredible. And baked in the oven like this. Can't go wrong, guys. Can't go wrong. Well, guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me today and doing this catch and cook. I know it's been a while since I've done one, you know, because all well, the stuff is going on right now with the quarantine and trying to work and making videos and being with my family. It's just been hard during the week to try to do a, a catch and cook. And if you guys really seem to like them, I'll try to do more and more, you know, as the future goes on. But usually these videos don't get as much views as some of my other videos. But guys, thank you so much while we're talking about views and everything. Thank you so much, guys, for being a part of this channel and subscribing, making comments, and just being a part of everything. You guys are awesome. I mean, we're over 27,000 subscribers now as of this time. When this video comes out, it might even be more. But that's just incredible humbling to me, guys, because... Just a couple years ago, I only had like 500 subscribers. And from 500 to now, that's all because you guys. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate y'all. I even don't mind the little crazy comments that I get. Some of y'all got some really crazy stuff to say. I mean, crazy stuff to say. I might even do a video here in the future of all the comments that I get because some of them can be really rude, really rude. Some of them can be just like off the wall. But as the most part... Everybody's really cool. This is a nice little community of friends, community of people, and I really appreciate it, guys. Well, until I get to see you all again here soon on the water, tight lines, Jetty Rockers. Hey, Jetty Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. But check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.